wasn't been able to participate today due to a previous engagement. I'm particularly glad to host this view today here because I think the center is the perfect place for this meeting because since its foundation, um, the mission of the center has always been the promotion of the um, relations between Italy and the United States. Um, besides the center, as you can see, is located in this wonderful building uh, that my colleague Antonia will show you after. And I do apologize, I'm sorry, because you weren't able to appreciate the magnificence of our courtyard and our stairs due to the restoration works. But I hope you will be back let's say next year so that you will enjoy the overall beauty of our building. I don't want to bother you <laughs> with a long speech, but I would like to say some few words about the center. First of all, the library is the oldest library for the American studies in Europe and still is the most important library in Italy. Um, alongside the library, the center has become a cultural center and uh, we have a rich program of activities focused on political, economic and cultural um, topics. Um, uh, what else? Uh, sorry. Um, about, among these activities, I would like to mention the PEAR, which is the Prize for American-Italian Relations, which is awarded each year to uh, personalities that have distinguished themselves in the fields of literature, art, and uh, justice, and science. And starting from this year in September, we are going to organize, thanks also to the collaboration with the American University and John Cabot, we are going to organize the first festival on American culture. And for this first edition, we have decided to, have to, to deal with the Italian-American culture. So I think that there is a, a common ground for our two organization to start a good collaboration. I wish I could too. And last but not least, I would like to thank uh, President Daisy Russo, I don't know what is it, and Umberto Mucci for this great opportunity. And uh, I look forward to Umberto. Thank you.
various inhibitions, some of them promote the culture and heritage, uh, some of them promote education, some of them promote the teaching of the Italian language, uh, some of them are charitable organizations, but we've all come together to work together in order to preserve and perpetuate our Italian American heritage. We are very, very proud of our Italian roots here in Italy. And in order to preserve our heritage, uh, we have begun the energetic program uh, to try and do the things that are necessary to keep the culture and history strong in our country. The first thing we realized we had to do was to go out and reconnect with our youth, because younger people tend to drift away from the heritage. They don't feel the connection because they didn't have the tie to the immigrant generation that the old Italian immigrants did. So we're going to be sponsoring a national Italian American summit convention in January of 2023. We're going to bring some hundreds of young Italian American ladies together in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, uh, so that we can create a, 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 a incubator for young Italian Americans to begin assuming leadership roles in Italian American organizations. Organizations cannot be led uh, by, uh, by senior citizens uh, indefinitely. We need young people, we need young blood, and we're going to find a way to bring them into the organizations. Uh, in addition to uh, like encouraging young people to get involved, the other thing that we felt was very important that we want to preserve our heritage is to develop a very strong bond, a strong tie, a strong friendship with the Italian government and the Italian people. That is something that has not existed in the recent past. So I called the new ambassador to the United States uh, uh, several months ago, uh, Maria Angela Zapia, and I asked to introduce myself to her. I congratulate her on her appointment, and I asked that she would host a reception at her home in Washington, D.C. for all of the Italian American leaders so that they could meet her and she and her staff would be done. She graciously agreed to do that. That meeting occurred in December this past year. We took 55 of the most important Italian American leaders from throughout the country to her home for dinner. And that evening, uh, we established a very, very strong relationship with she and her staff. And we felt that the next step to continue to build upon that would be to come here to Rome so that we could develop the same type of relationship with the political leadership here in Rome and with the Italian people. And so that's why our delegation is here. And we've been very fortunate uh, in being able to talk to many important leaders uh, in the Italian government and in the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is a very important part of the Italian American culture and history. And we wanted to reaffirm for the church our commitment to the church because oftentimes in America, the church comes under great attack um, by the uh, by uh, those uh, who promote secularism within our community. So we wanted to reestablish our tie with our faith, reestablish our tie with our, with our heritage, with our brothers and sisters here in Italy, and we are here to do so and to pledge that we want to continue to work with you in the future on many, many issues that mutually affect the Italian community and the Italian American community. We have to learn to work together to help one another because when we do so, we speak with a louder, more forceful voice, and when we accomplish something, it benefits all of us. So that's the background of the organization. It's a pleasure to be with you this evening. I'm very much looking forward to the presentation, and we'll be available to speak with you afterwards if you care to, do it, uh, to discuss our mission with us and be having any questions with us. Thank you. Thank you.
have to your Italian roots. Everything that has been said up until this point represented with such dignity and such class our Italian roots. As was said, we need young blood to carry forth our traditions, our culture, and that is what I try to do in my own small way in Parliament, in Congress, which is um, whether it be through um, scholarships, um, business opportunities, anything that bridges the gap between the U.S., Canada, Mexico, and Italy. So I thank you for all that you do. Obviously, I thank the Chinese Sumi Americani. And if any of you have dual citizenship, hold U.S. and Italian citizenship and have any questions, I'm here for you. So thank you again. I want to sit down. I want to to sit down.